Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm the technical director here at Pure Storage for VMware Solutions. And what we're going to be talking about today is Active Cluster, and of course, Active Cluster with VMware. So let's first start off with what is Active Cluster. Well, Active Cluster is a feature we introduced on the Flash Array in PRD 5.0 that allows a volume to exist simultaneously on two different Flash Arrays using Active Active synchronous replication. So, what does this mean? Well, in a VMware environment, we have a, a volume with a data store on it, VMFS. And this volume exists on one array. Right? All your paths, all your paths to this, your IOs go to this volume on this single array. But what happens if you lose that array? What happens if you lose the paths to that array? Well, your VMs running on this data store are down. Active Cluster allows you to have this data store on multiple arrays at once. So what happens is you take your volume and you create what's called a pod. A pod is just an object, essentially a consistency group for replication. And you can put one or more volumes inside of a pod. And when you create a pod, it only exists on one array. It exists on the array where this volume happens to be. But what you can then do is, first off, it's on flash array one, you can stretch it. So this pod now exists also on flash array two. And so this volume is now on both arrays. The data for this volume gets synchronized on both sites. And now both of these arrays can offer up this volume at the same time. This volume can be read or written to by on either array at the same time. So if you're to lose one of these arrays, you can still service data to this volume. Your VMs can continue to run on this volume on the other array. So what does this look like from a, a VMware perspective? Well, you have a host. And this is your ESX server. And you have some VMs running on a data store. And so this is currently on one array. Right? But when we stretch it, we now only not only see volumes or paths to this volume on one array, so we see some paths on an array. We now have another array with this volume on, and we see additional paths. So from a VM or perspective, it's not seeing two different arrays. It's just seeing more paths. Of course, the paths to this data store go to array A and array B. And so this introduces two things. First off, RPO, recovery point objective. If I have a failure, do I lose any data? How much data do I lose? How far back in time do I lose data? Well, if I were to lose an array, the volume is also on this side. All writes are synchronized on both arrays all the time. That's synchronous replication. And so if this array goes down, I don't lose any data because the exact point in time is still on that secondary array. So my RPO is zero. And furthermore, this also helps with RTO, recovery time objective. How quickly does it take for me to get back up and running after a failure? Right. And RTO with active active synchronous replication can be zero because if you lose this array, there is no downtime. There's a multi-pathing switch to make sure that's just using these paths. Right. So from a virtual machine perspective, from an application perspective, there can be zero downtime even when an entire array fails. Right. So with Active Cluster and VMware, you can have zero RPO and zero RTO during an array failure. So the next question is, how does this work with VMware? Uh, a concept that gets thrown around a lot is called a stretch cluster. What is a stretch cluster? Well, in part two of the series, we'll dive into what is a vSphere stretch cluster and how vSphere HA deals with that. Bye.